Well, going from Will Smith, uh, what was it being on the set of Bad Boys? Oh, we just did Bad Boys 4, too. Yeah? Yeah, man. We just and finished Bad Boys 4. Anything dope. you want to share about your Bad Boys? Yeah. Um, they were smart, and they put me back in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Fan favorite. <laughs> and, you know, I was Everybody love that character, though, John. I was Will like a motherfucker about that, too. <laughs> I was like, come on, man. You know, he said, hey. And, you know, people would say what they want about three. Three was the highest grossing bad boys of all time. The two directors were unbelievable. So they're back directing, and I got to sit at the table read, and I got to add to it uh, what I was going to do, and I think this is probably the best bad boys we've done. Okay. I'm telling you. It's, Wait, did, it, did it's Martin the, get in shape for this movie? Martin. This is why I'm telling you. Martin is back. Thank you, man. Thank you. Like people, when I, somebody said that, I said, what do you mean? And he's going to, when he sees this, he's going to be like, what do you mean I'm back? It, because, you know, when you're in something, you don't realize it, right? Right. Martin is good on fire. Good. I'm telling you. I saw this interview with him recently. I can't remember where it was, but that shit was so good. Yeah, he's on fire. And I'm, I'm telling you, I, I noticed it because how I got in the first Bad Boys is I pissed him off. And then, and then when Michael Bay put me in the movie, he used that pissed off energy in Bad Boys 1. That was real. When he was poking me in my head, he was, <laughs> he was mad at some shit. <laughs> he was, was he mad at? So I, I find out they're in town. I go down. I'm playing for the Heat. I go down and I see him and he's sitting there with his new fiance. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Pat. <is> fine. <laughs> um, Miss, I think Miss Virginia. I mean, she's bad. And she's sitting there, you know, with this beautiful green eyes or whatever color the eyes are. I mean, to the point where, like, you're Martin and you're talking to Martin like this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she's fine. <laughs> so I get there and he's in this thing and I was like, yeah, he's, yeah, man, he's my fiance. And I go, y'all got a prenup? Oh, that's just. Uh... Now, <laughs> that would sound like, damn, Sal, why'd you jump in? <laughs> I did the same thing to Sinbad. I said, Sinbad, no. he said, oh, man, you're beautiful. Y'all got a prenup? <laughs> that's what Sinbad said to me. Uh -huh. So I thought that's what friends say. <laughs> <laughs> so he got to go up on set. He, Come here, man. He said, man, don't be saying that, man, in front of my crew, in front of my women. Damn, man, that's some bullshit, man. You don't say that kind of stuff. I go, that's what Sinbad said to me, and I think it's important that you realize <laughs> one of your friends is saying... You need a prenup, right? So Pat says, I don't want your friends thinking I'm after you for the money, so we're going to get a prenup. They get Thank a prenup. You. Yeah. Martin right. didn't have to pay when they got divorced what he would have had to pay if he didn't have the prenup. Did he call and Did thank you? Did he give you? you a bonus? Not only, wait, wait. wait. I'm, I'm no, going to no, tell, tell you that part, and then I'm going to go back to, on the set. Okay. No, let me start on the set. So he's bitching at me as we're going up the elevator, and he's pissed. Sal, I'm serious, man. You, you, you overstepped. I said, yo, sorry. <laughs> we're going in. We're walking in. We're doing the scene where he's running out with the girl and the dog, and this guy is screaming on set, going. I said, who's that? He said, man, young director, first-time director. I'm listening. Yeah. Then I said, yo, man, who's that over there yelling? He busts through it, and it's Michael Bay. A year earlier, he shot my Nike commercial. So I was like, what's up? He was like, oh, what's up? What are you doing here? Martin was like, it was my friend. He was like, oh, he's funny. We got to put him in a movie. Martin says, you're the director. He said, you SAG? I said, yeah, I SAG. I don't know what SAG was. <laughs> <laughs> I was SAG too, but I didn't pay my dues, so I was behind. He was like, oh, we got to, I got to put you in a movie. I got a spot for you. So they put me in a movie, and he was making up shit as we were walking to set. That, none of that is written. <laughs> That's making awesome. all of that up, and he's like, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna shoot you like this, and I'm gonna do he's doing all of that. Now, flash two. Martin's still pissed when we're doing the scene. He's poking me in my head. <laughs> he's telling me he'll knock my ass out and shit. I don't want to curse because my mom and my dad are gonna see it, but they ain't gonna see it because the whole movie's full of curses, but I ain't gonna curse, is what right. I'm thinking. Great scene. I get back to doing bad boys too. He's like, they was you gotta bring that energy that you bought. You know, you got to be the one that don't like him. You got to be the one that like him. Good cop, bad cop. I move out to L.A., and I move in a house in this beautiful neighborhood in Beverly Hills, and Martin is five doors up. But, you know, 
you know, Martin is Martin now. Martin is huge. Huge. So there's a knock on my door, and I go to the door, and this big dude, he said, yo, Martin want to talk to you. I said, all right. I'm looking for Martin. He goes, you know, we got the car. I'm five doors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, he's, you know, they drive me around. I get there and shit. I'm walking through the house. He's nice. Yeah, you know, they build in my house. I'm staying in this one, all that stuff. You look good? Yeah, we're talking and all that. He goes, yeah, I was really mad at you. I said, yeah, I know. You want some licorice? No, I don't want no licorice, motherfucker. <laughs> I just want to say thank you. Because mm. you saved me millions, millions of dollars. I was pissed. But when I look back at it, if you didn't do that, she wouldn't have asked for it and told me he didn't want it in my, and I would have been out of a lot of money. John, if you see me out there, definitely raise that question for me. <laughs> oh, definitely. Well, <laughs> let me tell you what I think about marriage. Um, because uh, I've been doing it for 30 years. Um, it's ups and downs. Right. Just like the person. You're going to fall in and out of love. Mm. So you got to stay with them when you don't like them no more? No. Nah, when you, no, like when you don't love like them. When you, yeah, love you don't them. like them. You, you got to always like them. Oh, okay. Love, you're gonna, you, whatever you decide what your love is. Her cooking for, this is where they make the mistake. I love that she cooks for me. I love that she takes care of the house. I, what? That's not love. Right. That's, you, you can get a housekeeper. You can get a chef. You know what I'm saying? May not be the love in the food or being able to put things in certain places or keep a house, but when you like somebody, you, you, it's easy to stay in like. Uh, Mickey Rooney said that a long time ago. He said, marry the one you like, not the one you love. Mm. My okay. father told me, marry the one that loves you, and you better hope her daddy taught her the same. 